He had to bring his dog because nobody else would come with yeah. him. He says, you know, he says, I said, you guys sit at home and watch the race on the Internet. I'm going to race. So Whitney, Whitney's flying back so she can get here. Yeah. Here we go. Green's out. One of eight on the racetrack. On into turn number one and two. It'll be Cohen blowing it in on the bottom side. Here comes Grabo. Grabowski wants $10 from Casey's his Hill Hustle. On into turn number three and four. It is Jordan Grabowski, your race leader. Ryan Gaylord runs third in that 7R car. Back a distant fourth is a 27 of Grant Florence. So off of turn number four, Grabowski leads the field in the 30 car. The 3X of Cohen running second, the 27 of Grant Florence. Leads that number 21 car, but not for long. The 21 machine. Brian Connis out of Joaquin. He has worked his way from the final starting spot up into the number four position as the field hurries on into turn number one and two. Grabowski pulling away into 30 car. Gaylor challenging Cone for second spot. A distant fourth is Connis. Then is Florence. Shervick now clears that four car field. Casey Joe. Runs seventh, and then it's Keller and Heim. So field all stacked and attacked down the back straightaway. Jordan Grabowski putting a straightaway, a hurting, holy cow. He is out front showing the field how to get her done here tonight. Grabowski, your leader. Cohen and that 7S or 7R of Ryan Gaylord. Gaylord out of Lakewood, Colorado, sits there in the number three spot as they hurry. Fence post, long distance formation off of turn four. Shervick finally starting to make a move in the 66D. But there's Shervick, or excuse me, Grabowski's checked out almost a straightaway lead over Cone and Gaylord caught us about a half a lot back with one to go. In the turn one and two, it's Jordan Grabowski, your leader out of Beatrice, Nebraska. Grabo out front. Showing him how it's done. Working it down. Checkers out. He won. Jordan Grabowski out of Beatrice, Nebraska with a heat race win. Second will go to the 3X of Bray, Brady Cohen. And third to the 7R of Ryan Gaylord. So a pair of Colorado drivers chasing the Nebraska driver to the checkers. Nine cars set to go up here in heat two. They see if they're going to go green, if Jeep's going to get off in time. Yes, they do. And here we go. Bring them on down. It is the 20 of Nick Roberts. Roberts, a former Sport Mod Super Nationals champion, the youngest Super Nationals winner in history, leads the field in that 20 car. They'll bring him off of turn number three or four. Look out there together for second. Little right rear slap from the 21 machine. Josh Everhart out of Bowling Game, Kansas. Works it on to the number two spot, that 25 of Kyle Beavers up into the number three spot, but not for long. Here comes Hager. Hager coming to third after coming high out of four. Beavers in fourth in a race for the five spot. Right now that goes to Uh, Taylor, Jesse Taylor. So Jesse Taylor runs five. He'll lay it in there, blow it up on the top side. It is still out front at 20. The 20 of Nick Roberts from Des Moines. Under attack right now, though, is the 3H of Ryan Hager. Hager has got that 25 machine of Kyle Beavers. In the crosshairs, can't quite get her done. Is they'll hustle on down. Beavers is working. On the old three machine, gonna moisten it up on the bottom side. See what he can do with it. Ho <laughs> ho, Beavers, hustle to the inside. Taylor goes to fifth as he puts the Utah driver of Hale back to sixth. There's your leader, Nick Roberts, a big lead. So down in the turn, number one and two, Hager onto the Beaver. Down the back straightaway, hang on to that thing. They'll get together, she will get tight down in there. Beavers tight on the bottom. Up on the outside is Hager's. Hager's looking at Beaver on the bottom. Down the back straightaway, they'll go this time. 
It's Beaver downstairs. Beaver's working. Oh, the Beavers are hot tonight, working the number three spot. Robert Everard still won one, two. And Jerry said it's still Beaver and Hager. But Taylor trying to close in and make it a three car race for third. Ah, oh, Beaver! Go. Sorry, I thought you took a breath there. Beavers now. Beavers has worked into the number three hole. Down the back straight away. Beavers working it on there. Off a turn four. Checkers out. Nick Roberts with the win. Second will go to the 21 J of Josh Everhart. And finishing in that number three spot, that'll be Kale Beavers. And hang on to the old 21. Yep. It's the veteran Brian Calhoun, the 43C. And our first ever modified champion at RPM Speedway lines up in the back. Our Wall of Fame winner out of Sharon Springs, the 41, our rapid Ronnie Hill. We'll go green flag, eight laps of distance. Hustle it on in there, Hunter Marriott. Look out, hang on, Zippy D. Zane Devilibus out of Farmington, New Mexico, takes that 18 Z to the number three spot, but. It ain't gonna stay there long, kids. A former national champion has worked on into the number two spot. Devilibus with a freezing crate between the frame rails, chasing out another freezing crate runner. That is the 62 of Hunter Marriott. He's your race leader. Eddie Bellick right back there looking good in third, but he's got John Hansen. Hammer down. Colorado drivers battle for two or three and four. It's Hansen to third. Boy, Marion able to hang on in turn two. Hanson's pulled away from Bellick now. Mike Martin is in fifth lane, runs sixth. Calhoun in the seventh slot. Then comes Gray and Hill. So field will hustle on down the back straightaway. It is Hunter Marriott. He is working the lead. Zippy V, here comes Zane Devilibus. Working her right there into the number two spot. John Hansen on a brush, Colorado. So you got Missouri, New Mexico, Colorado, Colorado, and then Kansas one through five as they hustle on down the back straightaway. Marriott still out front, pulling away that brush. Makes a move, or Hansen make that. Makes a move, gets by Davidless. And Hanson moves to the runner up spot. So Hanson will get past Davidless in the 18. Zane Davidless out of Farmington, New Mexico. Seeing John Hanson, look at that. Hanson's going to put six car links on him down the back straightaway. This time off of turn number four, the white flag is in the air. The Hustler, three eighths of a mile left in this one. Down the back straightaway, racing deep in the field is good. You got a pair and a couple pair of them back there. But meanwhile, draw your attention to the checkers and up front, it is Hunter Marriott to the win. John Hansen goes second in Zane DeVilbus in the number three spot. Derek Klima out of Belleville, Kansas, and Marty Clark, the seven and the eight up on the front row. Into turn number one and two, Derek Klima. Look at this, hang on, they'll off the brake check. Klima a little sideways. Clark on the outside. The eight balls quick upstairs. Here comes a seven of Klima. Jeff Hunter on the move. Look out, stacked and racked three wide down the front straight away. Ho ho! Gimble on the move in the blue three. Andy Wilkinson got a little out of shape in the 15 car. Lavander's gonna go to fourth in the three. Wilkinson to fifth. Up front, they're chasing the eight ball. That is Marty Clark. Down the front straightaway, Clark, Hunter, Klima. And then that three of Brian Lavander out of Grand Island, Nebraska. Sits in the number four spot. Brandon Gimble is five. Fifth is still up for grabs as here comes the 64, or the 60 IV machine of Anthony Roth out of Columbus. He's gonna put the bucks and gloves on and try to make his way on up to the field as he sits deep in the field. But it is the eight machine. That, of course, is Marty Clark, your leader. Jeff Hunter not far behind the racing magistrate, Marty Clark. 
holding on to out front. It is Klima still hanging to the third spot in the seven car. Dennis Lavander, and here's Gimmel on the move. The G3 to the outside. Look at the outside of Lavander for fourth. Lavander on the inside. It'll be the three of Gimmel on the outside, and the battle for the lead's gonna shape up here, Mike. Is on the inside. It is Jeff Hunter. He'll take a stab and grab. Look out. The seven of Derek Klima gets her crossed on up. Speaking of crossing on up, it's a little crossed up for second. Hunter got there, and now Clark's able to drive away by three car lengths. Lavander now has Gimble to the outside. Gimble with a run. He has really got a good run out of one and two coming off that corner in two. He goes to third spot. One to go. Sell, so they'll hustle. Final time off a of two and out of back straight away. It is Clark and Hunter. Hunter working it there. Now Gamble into the number three spot. Into three off of four. It'll be Marty Clark to the win. Jeff Hunter goes second. And the three of the G3 of Brandon Gamble out of Wichita rounds out the top three. Marty Clark checked in and has an itinerary that gives the exact order every hour on all three days what's happening. Now we're good to go. You bet, like I was gonna say. But with that being said, a little different theory here as we do work with all the racers and try to make sure they're getting taken care of. On down the back straightaway, that 22T Trent Gray out of Ulysses sees. Joe Cleveland up on the outside as they race through turns three and four. Two and three wide action. Cleveland's gonna get gobbled up there on the bottom side. Here comes that seven machine. 747, Corey Birch out of Junction City, Kansas, working on in. Field of race and rock and roll off of turn number four. The 22T, Trent Gray out of Ulysses, your leader. 747, Corey Birch is in the number two spot. Third is the two of Cleveland and John Plowman. The 35 car, Mike, the only car stepping to the outside, seeing if there's any kind of action traction. He is, and if you watched him coming out of four on Dirt Track Central, he's right up against that wall coming off turn number four. But Gray still continues to lead. Birch in second. Smoking Joe runs third. So down the back straightaway, Plowman now gets past Blocklinger. He's the meat in the nine car sandwich. It is a nine of Cole Traugott. Out of Woodward, Oklahoma, and then the 9X of Brandon Blocklinger. Blocklinger back there in the number six spot now as they hustle down the back straightaway. The double deuce. T, that is Trent Gray, your race leader, is a hurry on down the front straightaway. It is still Gray. Birch 1-2, now a distant third is Cleveland. He's got the nine car, Trogget all over the back bumper. Then it's Plowman and Blocklinger. Hoffman then right behind him. Lap and a half to go. Hawker Smith behind Hoffman. And then the M80 and Matt Stahlbomber rounds out the field with one to go. White flags out, they'll hustle on down. It is the 22T Trenton Gray. He race number five, kids coming at you. Gray to the win, watch the battle for third. Oh, she'll get slicey and dicey. Gray to the win. Brush goes second, or Birch goes second. And the nine of Cole Traugott going home in the number three spot. My memory fades after a while. Looking for the green flag. This one's a lot better. There's still gonna be three wide down the front straightaway. Jesse Richter, hang on to him. Peter Silly gets the better of Beavers off the back of the field as they hustle on down the back straightaway. It'll be that 71 C of Chad Melton out of Mineral Wells, Texas. Got the cam chassis wound up. Down the front straightaway you'll go. It'll be 
The driver out of Texas, the legend out of Kansas, working one and two, and here comes the veteran. The 97 at David Murray. Kyle Rolander, who finished second to Dylan Chervik in the points race here at RPM Speedway this season, runs in the four spot and enters a big battle back there for fifth. And looks like Schwab gets turned around. Ah, Peter Silly laced up the shoes, had nowhere to go as the old hot rod got on around in front of him. Now Beavers, Jason, Peter, Silly, we are yellow, we Gosh, are yellow. Easy, easy does it. For it, Green is out. Peter, Silly is gonna be working to the bottom side. He's gonna try to work it up towards the front, but we'll see what happens. David Murray to the outside. Murray going to the top of the racetrack. He'll get around Jesse Richter. Richter on the bottom side, Kyle Rolander, and that's Shaw by Gerhardt Racing. Works it on into the outside. David Murray up top looking. He's found himself some action traction. Same, Murray up on the outside. Same line Brendan Gimmel using his heat race, top of turn two. Gives you a lot of momentum coming off the corner, but Milton still hangs on to the top spot. Murray in second to the high side. We'll see if he gets it this time. Rolletter Richter run three, four. Rounding out the top five is Burt Beach. So down into turn number three and four, it is still that 71C machine. Chad Melton. Oh, hang on. Had one that 05 stopped at the top. He gets it going. Will stay green. Rolletter comes to the back bumper of the 97 of Murray. The 05 machine of Rick Taylor out of Liberal, Kansas. Lap traffic on there as Richter works the bottom. On down the front straightaway, it is still Chad Melton, your leader. Melton and his Murray, roll letter. Remember the 05 car is one lap down. So Richter is fourth. Beach fifth, the distance sixth, Mike Petersilly. Then comes Schwab, Beavers, and then Taylor a lap down. Field works on down, white flag in the air as he rings off a two and on the back straightaway. David Murray trying to find to see if he has got the steed to do the deed. He'll race into the outside. Evans with the checkers, but it is gonna be the driver out of Mineral Wells, Texas. Chad Melton with the win. David Murray goes second and third going to the zero of Kyle Rolletter. One heat remains. We are going green. So they'll race them on down. It is the 14G machine. Greg Gustis out of Bushton, Colorado to the race lead as they hurry it on down. Here comes the 24B, Chris Bragg on the bottom. Look at him off of turn number four. Oh! Outside the racetrack's getting racy. Down the back straightaway, that is the 24B of Chris Bragg up on the bottom side. Now it's gonna be a three wide rattle for the lead. As here comes the 11 machine. Troy Plummer out of Oakley, three wide off of two and down the back straightaway. Oh man, look at this, Mike, they're deep into three. Nobody wanting to give up. Van Gimmel watching that from back there in fourth spot. Now we back off a little bit. And Gustus is gonna go back to the three spot. Plummer is second, we got a spin in the corner. Ah, the uh, book machine, the old bookmobile on around. The battle for the lead is gonna get good. Down the front straightaway, it is that 24B machine of Chris Bragg out of Springston, Texas. He's your race leader, Troy Plummer. Down the back straightaway, he's trying to get past the crack right there and get on into the race lead, the Plummer on the outside. Bragg your leader, and then it is. Greg Gustis back there in the number three spot. Van Gimmel right now, fourth in the 21 being challenged by the 70J of Jeremy Frenier. He runs in the fifth spot to round out the top five. On down the front straightaway, it is. 
that number 24 B machine. Chris Bragg working it down the back straightaway. He's got Plummer working there on the outside, trying to get to him. The white flag is out. We've got one to go. Plummer trying to make the top work, but Bragg's got to run to the bottom. Gustus watching that race from back there in a distant third, coming off the corner. Hanging on to win out of Springstead, Texas. It's going to be Chris Bragg. Oh, ba Plummer not got him at the line. Barely is Plummer. Plummer tried to tighten her on up, couldn't get her done. Plummer goes second, and the 14G of Greg Gustus goes in the number three spot. Here's City, Kansas. Bowers Point champion at Thunder Hill Speedway in Mayetta. So here we go, green flag is out. Two and three wide down the front straightaway. Oh, Zorn. Seeing that Tanner Black machine out of Mojave Valley, Arizona. Look out, three wide, oh my. And a turn number three and four, here comes Cody Gearhart. Gerhardt out of Turpin, Oklahoma. Working into the number deuce position as they work him on down. Things awful tight in that 44 T machine as he thinks. Tanner moves on back into the number three spot. The 66 of Jerry Phillips takes it over. Phillips to the outside. Black to the inside and right behind them is Bowers in the 77 car. Three car race for third right now belongs to Phillips. So on down the back straightaway, it is Zorn, your leader. Gerhardt running in the number two spot as they race on down the front straightaway. Zorn, Gerhardt, the 66 machine right on in behind him, Jerry Phillips. The 77 of Steve Blowers right there with them as they hustle on down the front straightaway. Three wide off a of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Right there, it's Phillips. Black, and now the 77 of Steve Bowers. Bowers to the bottom side. They'll race them off a of two and down the back straightaway. Third is up for grabs. Three car race for third. You got a two car race up front as they make their way by the flag stand. Racking another lap off. That's Jeremy Zorn, followed by Cody Gearhart. So down the back straightaway, it is still Zorn and Gearhart. Mike, like you said, running one and two, but that battle for third, I am not taking my eyes off of it. It is still up for grabs. Tanner Black have been fighting an ill handling race car at the beginning of this one. Now it is coming to him. Down the front straightaway, him and Bauer will get together with two laps to go. They chase that number 66, which is, of course, Jerry Phillips out of Galva in the number three spot. White flags out at the starter stand. One lap to go. As 2007 Paul National Champion Jeremy Zorn leads Cody Gearhart. Phillips still leading that three car race for third, but coming to the checkers. Your winner is going to be Zorn Gearhart, second ball watching for third. Bowers dives to the bottom, coming off the corner. Winning third is going to be Jerry Phillips. Ha, heat race eight coming right to the end on that one.